Louisiana Beer Reviews recorded at Mathern Supermarket, Laplace, Louisiana. We're going to taste Rogue Yellow Snow IPA. If you spill beer in the snow, it'll be yellow. Unless you spill Guinness or uh, Killian's Irish Red or a whole bunch of other stuff. Anyway, um, introduced in 2000, last year of the 20th century for the Winter Olympics. It's in the 6.2 to 6.5% range. They don't really say on their website. 82 international bitterness units. They do state that on the website. The barley malts are Carafoam, Melanoidin, Two Row, and Rogue Farm Dare and Risk malts. Amarillo hops are the only hops used in Pac-Man yeast. It gets a very good score on Beer Advocate. The bros haven't reviewed it. 96 out of 100 on rape beer, 94 out of 100 for the style, and a most excellent score on the beer in me. Well, I've never had it. So, let's check it out. Gee whiz, I'm about to clean up. Clean up on the beer aisle. It was foaming out the top. Okay, uh, I don't know why. Okay, uh, I think the head would be thicker in a taller glass. It's a uh, um, murky gold, orange gold. I mean, it is transparent. It must have. I don't see chunks, but it's got to have powdery sediment throughout, and I see some stray bubble streams. So I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would be a little clearer, but. Sometimes beers blow up like that. <clears throat> the aroma is not like I was expecting either. I was expecting the stereotypical IPA, citrus, and especially I was expecting like the depressing thing of the last two years, the pineapple, the grapefruit, the... Uh, Alright. But malts, sweetness, Not so much hop like um, I don't know. I can't describe it really. It's a like a fruitiness, but it's a strange fruitiness. But well, let's go with the flavor. Sweetness, breadiness, um, certainly there's hot bitterness, and it's coming in more at the end. There's a, a it's like a, um, a straightforward barley malt flavor. This has more of a malty presentation than most IPAs I try, and I think that's good. It's um, it's more enjoyable to get that than... I mean, there's... There's a shade of citrus, a shade of pine, but it's just like... Um, like to keep using that word straightforward, but a straightforward hot bitterness, like a standardized hot bitterness. The body is medium, and uh, the finish is semi dry at, at the most, semi dry. Uh, decent lacing around here. Uh, <sighs> This is hard to figure out. Uh, I, I did not. Ex I'm, 
happily surprised, though, believe me. Um, I was not expecting this. Um, didn't see any kind of date. Let's see. Uh, no. It could be. Some of these beers, you know, it's like, um, can't figure out the date. Anyway, um, they're not apparent. If you search a lot, you might find it. Well, anyway, I, I think it's an A. Uh, a lot of times, rogue beers disappoint me. They don't seem to be so great. And uh, I'm not in love with their packaging or whatever. But anyway, and their pricing, I'm not in love with that. But, uh, you know, they make interesting stuff and some off-the-wall stuff like this little number here for instance but I would say a most excellent if you get it buy it and try it I, I still think the dead guy ales rogues best beer and that's like their flagship beer which is supposed to be kind of like run of the mill but I still think that's their most well executed beer this is giving it a run for its money so <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with this bottle I gotta clean up so rogue yellow uh, Snow IPA is a winner. Laissez les bon temps rouler, and y'all come on down to Mathurins and check out their growing and varied beer selection.